Hi, this is Mike Madewell from the Hunter Technical Support Department. In this video, we will learn how to create a schedule for your irrigation system and program it into your Ecologic controller. We will also go over features such as seasonal adjustment, programmable off period, sensor bypass, manual run, delay between stations, normal or limited program mode, and quick check diagnostic. When programming an Ecologic controller, we will use the mode button to advance through the programming functions. We will use the arrows to move about the different fields within a function. And the plus and minus button to change the value that's currently flashing. The program or PRG button is used to advance from program A to program B and program C. Let's start by programming the current date and time. So press the mode button once and the year will start flashing. We'll use the left and right arrow to scroll through the different choices. Tap in the right arrow once, it shows the month. You can use the minus or plus to change the month. By tapping the right arrow, it goes to the day and it jumped over to AM PM. On AM PM, it's very small there to the right, but you can tap the plus to go to PM and the plus to go to 24 hour mode or back to AM. So we'll use our left and right arrow to scroll through the different choices. When we come back to the year, that's a complete cycle and we can use the mode button to go back to the home screen, which shows the current time. Before going over the watering schedule, let's review some terminology. A station is a group of sprinklers that are controlled by a single valve. A station is also known as a zone. A program is a group of stations that share the same watering schedule. By schedule, we mean watering days of the week on which the program will run, as well as the number of times the program will cycle per watering day. If all of your stations will be watering on the same days, and the same number of times a day, then you can program all your stations in the same program. However, if some of your zones need to be watered more or less frequently than others, you will need to separate them into multiple programs so they can have different day schedules. Another reason for separating stations into programs would be if some of your zones need to be watered only once a day and other zones need to be watered multiple times a day. Each program can have a different number of start times. The start time is the time at which the program will initiate the watering cycle. You can set the multiple start times for each program, which will cause the program to run more than once. You can have a program cycle up to four times per watering day. Remember that each start time causes all the stations within a program to run a complete cycle in sequential order. So let's say that you have two newly seeded zones, stations one and two for example, and because it is new grass, you may need to water them on a daily basis four times a day, with the exception of Thursday, because that's our mowing day. Let's also say that you have another two zones with trees, and these areas may need to be watered only every four days and once per day. Therefore, we'll need to divide these four stations into two different programs, A and B. Program A can have stations one and two with the new grass, and program B can have stations three and four with the trees. Each program will require three ingredients to be complete, at least one start time, run times, and days to water. We'll start by programming three different start times for program A. Press the mode button until the arrow is flashing next to start times. It shows start time one, program A. We're gonna set the first start time to 6 a.m. Remember, this is the first time the program cycles, not only station one, but the entire program. We'll use the right arrow to advance to start time two, and we'll use the plus button to go to 10 a.m. for the second program cycle start. Then we'll add a third complete cycle start for the program in by pressing the right arrow to three. And this time we use the minus button and go backwards down to 10 p.m. The fourth potential start will leave in the off position. Off is between 11.45 p.m. and midnight. 
The next step is to program in run times for each of the stations. Press the mode button until the right arrow is flashing next to run time. For station one, we'll program in six minutes. We'll use the right arrow to go to station two, and there we'll put in eight minutes. We'll tap the right arrow to go to station three, make sure they have zero minutes, as well as right arrow to station four, zero minutes. Stations three and four would be assigned over on program B in a different schedule. The last component for program A is setting the days to water. Press the mode button until the arrow is pointing next to water days. Let's program it to water every day except for Thursday, which is our mowing day. To activate a day, press the plus button and it jumps to the following day. We'll hit plus on Tuesday as well, plus on Wednesday, and on Thursday our mow day will hit minus, which means no water. Friday a plus, Saturday a plus, and Sunday a plus, and it brings you back to the first day of the week. You can see Thursday does not have a drop over it, so it's not a water day. It'll be flashing on Monday, which is fine, but we already have our days all set in. So this completes program A. Now we're ready to start the same process for program B. Let's press the mode button again, and it brings us to the start time position. We're in program A, so we'll tap the PRG button to go to program B. Start time one is showing, and I'm putting in 5 a.m. start time for the program. Hit the right arrow to go to start time two. Make sure there's no second start time, or third start time, or fourth start time. Right arrow goes back to one. We want the program to cycle only one time at 5 a.m. Next, we'll use the mode button to skip down to run times, and station one lives over in program A, so he'll have zero minutes. Station two as well, he lives over in program A. Right arrow to station three, and we're gonna have 15 minutes for station three. Right arrow to station four, I've already put 20 minutes in here for him. And right arrow takes you back to one. For the days to water, hit the mode button and it brings us over to water days function. I'm already in a four day interval. If you hit the left arrow, it brings you out of interval and back over to the seven day mode. Now you can leave it here and select plus or minus for the days you do and don't want to water. If you want a four day or five day interval, something like that, you can use the right arrow and scroll to the last day of the week, then right arrow to the odd position. We don't want odd. We're going to use minus. Even days, we don't want even days either, so we'll use minus. Now it jumps to interval, INT, and we hit the plus, and it brings us to interval mode. From there, you can use the plus or minus to select how many day interval you want to water. Once your number is in place, it's programmed in. And once again, if you want to get out of interval mode, simply hit the left arrow and it brings you back to the seven day pick a day mode. So now that we've completed programming program B, we can use the mode button to advance forward to the home screen and start talking about the features of the Ecologic. One of the features you will find in the Ecologic is seasonal adjustment. Use the mode button to scroll through all the features over to seasonal adjustment. This is a 10 to 150% scale that allows you to make runtime changes to all your stations without having to reprogram every single station individually when the weather conditions change. You can reduce the percentage all the way down to 10% or go all the way up to 150%. If it gets colder, you can reduce down to 50%, for example, to cut down watering runtimes on all your stations by half. Likewise, when it gets hotter, you can increase the percentage to increase the runtimes. The next function is System Off, which simply shuts the controller down. If you want to shut off the Ecologic, press the Mode button through all the functions until the arrow points at System Off. Wait a couple of seconds and the display will show off. To return the controller to normal automatic operation, press the Mode button once and it will display the current time and day or if you want to keep automatic irrigation from coming on, leave the controller showing off on the display until you decide to resume automatic irrigation. Within the system off function, you will find the programmable off feature. This is a handy feature that allows you to program in from one to seven days that the controller will be in the off mode. 
it automatically returns to auto operation after those days have expired. It's a very convenient feature if you have inclement weather ahead of you and you want your system off for X amount of days. To set a programmable off period, use the mode button to advance all the way through to the off screen. When the off stops flashing, you can use the plus button to select a number of days that you want to wait until irrigation resumes. Once you've chosen your number, for example, five days, the five will be flashing for a moment, then go solid. Leave it here on this screen and it'll count down the five days and after the five days it'll resume automatic operation. To cancel out of the programmable days off mode, just use the mode button to advance to the current time and you'll be back in auto regular mode. Otherwise leave it here for the five days to count down, then it'll go back to auto by itself. The EcoLogic also allows you to ignore your sensor using the sensor bypass feature. This allows you to irrigate even when your sensor is active. The EcoLogic is showing off an umbrella in the home screen. This means that we have a wet sensor preventing irrigation. If you want to bypass the wet sensor input, we can hold down the left arrow. When the screen changes, let go, and we'll use the minus to make it say off and put a circle with a line through it over the umbrella. This means that we'll be ignoring any sensor input allowing automatic or manual operation. We can tap the right arrow once to go back to the home screen. Shows the current time of day with the umbrella and a circle with a line through it saying that we are ignoring the sensor input. Within the EcoLogic, you can either run a single station manually or an entire program. To manually start a single station, press and hold the right arrow button until the screen changes. Once it does, use the program button to scroll through all available programs back to the original program. And in the hand, the number one will appear. That means you're in single station mode. You can use the plus or minus to adjust the minutes and the station will start running. Once you see the flashing sprinkler icon, it means the controller thinks he is watering station one. To manually start a program, hold the right arrow down until the screen changes. When it does, release and you'll see program A, station 1, and it'll run with the pre-programmed minutes the controller already has in it. There will not be a number 1 in the hand because that's for manual single station. The flashing icon in the top right corner means the controller thinks he's watering station 1. Another feature you'll find in the EcoLogic is delay between stations. This is a real handy feature if you have a well, for example, that needs time to replenish in between the different stations. As well, if you have slow closing valves, the same thing applies. You can insert a gap of time between when the prior valve shuts down and the next one opens up. To program a station delay, hold down the minus, then hold down the mode button for a few seconds and release both buttons. Zero, zero will appear in the screen. These are seconds. You can use the plus to advance all the way up to 59 seconds and then it goes into the minutes mode. You can go all the way up to four hours. Once you have your desired time chosen, simply use the mode button to advance forward to the home screen. The EcoLogic also has a feature called normal or limited program mode. This allows you to only activate program A or programs A and B or all three programs A, B, and C. To access this mode, press and hold the minus button and press and hold the program button. After a few moments, release both buttons and you'll see four start times with program A and B showing. You can use the plus to go to programs A, B, and C with four start times, plus to go to only one program A with one start time, or programs A and B with up to four start times. So this is a way that you can unlock multiple programs or just confine it down to one start time, one program. Once you've chosen what you want, you can use the mode button to scroll forward, past system off, and over to the home screen. The last feature we'll talk about is called Quick Check. When you initiate Quick Check, it turns on each station individually. 
It allows the controller to identify which stations may have a faulty solenoid or any wiring problems. To initiate the quick check, hold down the plus, minus, left and right arrows all at once, then release and use the plus to start the process. It'll scroll through stations one, two, three, and four, turning each of them on quickly to check for any electrical deficiencies. If there's a problem, it'll show two ERR or three ERR based on what station had the problem. If not, it just reverts back to the current time. For more information about the Ecologic controller, refer to the owner's manual, which can be found at Hunter Industries metric website. And thanks for watching. Thank you.